feel like their side is more cartoonish. Yeah. <laughs> Not in his job sound like things people actually do. Or at least I hear people do that. I'm like, no, I'm, I'll never read something yeah. that <laughs> All those factories in my town are gone now. That stuff was slowly dying out and it's all been demolished, I believe. But I have happy memories and some scars, I actually. Really? Yeah. You got injured on the... Um, yeah, like the other factory I worked in was called the Braiding Factory, and I ran a machine called the Extruder, which... Uh, <laughs> These are all made up titles, <laughs> equipment. <laughs> That's all real. I had to go to the hospital once. Uh, I'm fine. You have to elaborate. You yeah. can't... Do you, do, you, do you guys know what GIMP is? The plastic lace that you like make stuff with at summer camp, and you'd like, to, yeah. So I, I ran the machine that made GIMP. <laughs> this is such an incredibly weird job. <laughs> this is so good. Well, it was my entree into professional comedy writing. As soon as Letterman saw this fella made GIMP, get him in here. <laughs> No, it was this horrible machine. It was like 100 years old. You had to pour plastic pellets into it, and it ground them up and heated them up until it was liquid, and then it squirted it out through this little extruder hole. And there were two kinds. One had a filament in it that was like fishing line that made it super strong, which was great, except when there was a problem once with get, getting it wound onto the spools at the other end, and my hand got tangled up and like drawn into some gears, and I couldn't pull it out because it was super strong. So I got some cuts on my hand, but it was, it was okay. I got a few hours off from the factory. 